Our female engineer in Japan has had no time to relax. Here's the last of our four-part series. Zahida Sakic works for Ford Paper. Her employer sent her to Japan to set up a 230-meter-long paper machine it had sold to Japanese manufacturer Dio Paper. But getting the machine to work has been harder than expected. The engineers were unable to stop the machine from tearing the paper always in the same place. Eventually, the engineers identified the material preparation as the problem. The dosage of chemicals needed to be changed before the finished paper could finally emerge from the machine intact. It's a painstakingly long process and time is running out for Tsahida as her sojourn in Japan is rapidly coming to an end. Why is the paper tearing? Zahida Zakic, the engineer from Germany, is here to find out. The paper machine is still not functioning properly. It's run from the control room. The noise is still deafening, but this time, conferring with the Japanese goes smoothly, even without a translator. We communicated extremely well. I came with a positive attitude and so did he. It worked out beautifully. And the next step with the machine? That works out too, finally. The paper rolls through the size press. It's finally made it halfway through the machine, but not any further. Nevertheless, it's Sunday. Time for a visit to Hiroshima on the Shinkansen. The high-tech train amazes the engineers. It's tradition to hang a paper crane at the memorial, commemorating the victims of the nuclear bomb which was dropped on Hiroshima. One of Japan's hallmarks is the Red Gate. It's situated on Miyajima, a sacred island inhabited by deer, which lies 20 kilometers from Hiroshima. The engineer practices a Shinto prayer clap twice to wake the gods. Could she be asking for help with the paper machine? But bad omens. A typhoon has sprung up. Battening down on the hotel and back to the one and only topic, the paper machine. Is it always like this, or do other machines initialize quickly? This is Sakic's first startup procedure in a foreign country. She and her colleague are leaving in two days. I was aware we could be leaving without there being any paper on the roll. A startup like this is very complicated. My colleagues warned me that the smallest hitches could postpone scheduling for weeks. Paper on the roll is the term engineers use when a finished paper product emerges from the machine. But first, the coating aggregate has to be looked at. The paper is laminated here. And then, it tears again. The engineers are well aware. Success could come at any moment, but right now, it's back to the drawing board. Sakic checks the composition of the paper. It's her last day in Japan. I'm not happy about the fact that we don't have any paper on the roll and that we still don't know what the problem is. I'm not going home with a good feeling. The engineer did all the tasks she'd been assigned to do. 
But you have to promise you'll send us a picture of paper on the roller. I'll even send you a video. Really? That's nice. The rest is just formalities. Signing out with the head of the team, who's still facing the challenge of meeting his deadline. The paper machine needs to be up and running as quickly as possible. Sakic can now only watch and wait from a distance for the machine to work. Two and a half weeks in Japan. An eventful trip for the engineer and her colleagues comes to an end. Went by pretty quickly, don't you think? Looking back, seeing the machine for the first time. A foreign culture. Happy moments. And machine failures. Lasting impressions of Japan. What are you looking forward to coming home? Food and my husband. Sakic will continue her work in the development department, maybe until the next deployment abroad. The promised video arrives. Just one day after she's left, it happened. There's paper on the roll. So, it was a happy ending after all.